at least we've got someone making good use of the sun. As you can see, today is a beautiful day and you don't get very many in Glasgow. They're few and far between. So we're going to open up the garage door um, and get some light and get some air in the garage because again, we don't get that many good days, so when we do, we may as well try and make as outside of as possible. Um, today we are actually going to be doing squats and bench press. And again, the volume this Friday is actually higher than the volume was last Friday. So last Friday was five sets of three on both squats and close grip bench press, but with 80%. Um, and today is actually six sets of three on squats and close grip bench press with 80%. So again, the total workload uh, is actually higher today than it was last time. And um, although we are going through an intensity block, which we definitely are, um, again, we're, we're, we're still kind of keeping the volume pretty high, uh, still giving my body the ability to build the movements, build work capacity, build muscle, um, and just build everything that supports the, mu the, the, the movements. And, uh, and not actually drop off all of the fatigue. I mean, I'm still kind of uh, noticing that uh, that I've, I've not dropped off all the fatigue. So for me to perform the way I am, it's very, very kind of motivating and exciting. And uh, honestly, just cannot wait to um, do next week. And then even after that, I just cannot wait to start the meat prep and uh, go into the British, um, travel down to the British and just show myself more than anything um, and show all of you guys what I'm really capable of and what I definitely have the ability to do and um, whatever happens in the podium and whatever happens with records um, will fall into place as long as I can perform the way both I and yourself obviously know that I have the ability to do so. So out of the six triples that I was um, doing on both squats and close grip bench press, I only filmed four sets of each as there was no need to film all six as it becomes a little bit tedious. Uh, but one thing I was happy with was that as the sets kind of progressed, I, um, I actually felt the bar started to move a little better and it started to move a little bit easier. Just as the sets progressed, um, my hips were kind of loosening up a little bit, which is allowing me to get into better positioning, um, which is also going to make from a much more kind of optimal movement and overall just feel a lot better and again the bar was moving well but what I wanted to kind of touch on today was the importance of still keeping volume in on intensity blocks so what you see sometimes a lot of the time is people may, do tend to make the mistake if they're going through kind of some form of an intensity block is that they only they, 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 they don't keep any volume work in and their volume work really really decreases majorly so by the time they say go through their maybe three week maybe even four week volume block um, by the end of it, they're actually quite detrained and they've they've really lost a lot of that work capacity that they took so much time to build on the volume block because they dropped the volume so much. Um, and although they might have walked away with some personal best, they really have kind of detrained the movements a little bit and really lost that work capacity, which you're then going to have to spend a lot of time on the volume block um, regaining and coming and and um, trying to rebuild which isn't great. So keeping um, adequate volume and intensity blocks um, is definitely good uh, and definitely kind of something that I would advise. But again, kind of as the week's progression, this volume block, the, the, uh, the volume is actually kind of getting higher. Next week will be the last week of my volume block. And again, I do not believe that the volume will be higher uh, next week than it is this week. But again, once the, that still kind of leaves me in a good and kind of happy place because I've still actually had time to build the movements keep work capacity high, even build work capacity, and uh, still really kind of provide enough stimulus, enough volume to kind of promote optimal hypertrophy. Again, while still keeping all accessory work in there and whatnot, because as you all obviously know, I am a kind of big proponent of accessory work. Um, I really couldn't recommend more kind of really, really treating your accessory work in areas such as your lats, your shoulders, your arms, um, areas like that, just to really, really focus on trying to gain muscle mass in them as they will have a, a, such a huge carryover and positive effect on all three lifts, big three lifts, your squat, your bench press, your deadlift, gaining muscles in those areas will really, really, really be very, very beneficial to, the, to those movements by both um, obviously having a bigger muscle always has the potential to be a stronger muscle by improving leverages and there's all of those things that we have touched upon before and then again here was moving on to close grip bench press. Again, give him, I had to give myself a self, a self lift out as Robbie wasn't available to train on this day, so I didn't train with Robbie. 
Um, so again, one thing that I'm really, really happy about uh, that making the purchase with the new bench press is that it actually allows me to give a self lift out. As with my old bench press, just the way it was really set up, you really just could not give yourself a lift out, which made it very, very difficult if I had to train myself and my bench press sessions would actually take a massive, massive, massive hit and they really negatively affect my performance, um, almost to the point that I had to kind of wait to make sure that there's going to be someone there just to give me a lift out whereas here I can just set up the pins in the rack and uh, I can go and again on the um, on the benching as well that bench should last my lifetime as, as it's got a 500 kilogram uh, maximum um, load on it so again there's no way I'll ever outdo that 500 kilogram maximum load um, as I'd have to weigh 200 kilos and be benching 300 kilos to even kind of go to the safety regulations, so which probably isn't going to happen. So again, thanks for watching guys, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll speak to all of you guys next time.